Hi, Peter from Hannibal Safari. We're going to show you our sensor tyre Mark II tyre monitor today. It's the 14 wheel kit. At the present moment it's set up to do 9 wheels. We've just turned the unit on and as you can see we've got a series of numbers popping up on the screen. Those numbers are actually our pressure coming from the wheels on the vehicle we're currently sitting in. So it's uh, quite easily set up that we've got our left hand front, right hand front, left hand rear and right hand rear uh, for the tow vehicle. We have our single axle trailer at the back, two spares on the back of the vehicle and one uh, spare on the trailer. The beauty of this system is that you can grow it, uh, so you can do tandem axle trailers or triaxle trailers down the track if you need to, um, and it's just a simple matter of changing ID codes and adding those positions to the screen which we'll talk about later. What we'll do right now is we'll set our warning defaults. So by pressing the top button on the right hand corner we have our series of warnings that we can uh, actually set up a different default for. In this case we have low pressure, high pressure, as well as temperature. With our pressure ranges we can actually go in and do all the tyres at the same. So I've got it currently set at 26. I can quite easily go in and set it at 30 or 28 or whatever I choose to. Anything really from about 5 psi up. Or I can go in and I can select single. So I might want to be running uh, one tyre at a different pressure to another. So I can go and do the front row at one pressure range, the rear row at another pressure range, and so on. And as you can see, it only takes a moment to do that. We just back out of there, I now can go up and do the high pressure range. Now I probably like to cheat here a little bit and I like to always set it up reasonably high, maybe not that high, but we bring it back down to about 55 or 54 and that'll be fine. Obviously the biggest thing we're always concerned about is more about um, deflation and, and low pressure ranges because that's where it really hurts the tyres. But um, if you are experiencing possibly a delamination of your tyre, you may see that through temperature or through the high pressure range increasing. So the high pressure works like the low pressure will actually allow you to do an all pressure change or set up each individual tyre singly if you wish. Temperature is a blanket coverage. So 80 degrees Celsius is what it's set at currently. We could also set it up for 75 uh, or whatever you choose to. There are a couple other areas and here default is a, is a factory setting for the receiver itself. Um, as each of us have our requirements, may not necessarily be too concerned about that. Reset will allow us to zero this, the main screen, and so now when we go back it will actually be zeroed. And Sturge TX is a function which is only used for our cap transmitters only, that's the external types. Of course our preference is to use the internal types. So as you can see, we're back to a zero screen, and uh, we're allowing those, um, those transmitters to send a signal through. In the next instalment we'll talk about setting uh, your uh, ID codes and uh, how you create a position. Okay, today we're going to talk about the um, operation of our second part of the menu, or second menu. Um, this is where you do your housekeeping, this is where you do your tie rotations, this is where you can add transmitters to the system, or for that matter, if need be, uh, replace a transmitter. Very quickly though, we'll go through the four buttons. The first is really where you, you um, uh, get into the different menus. This one of course, the menu I previously showed, where you talk about the warning defaults. By pressing the top button and the second button down, we can actually get into our uh, housekeeping menu and the bottom two buttons are for our scrolling. One will scroll up, one will scroll down. The other thing is also important to note is that second button is where we, is what we call our enter button. So in this case here we've got exchange wheel location. To go into that section of the menu, I just press enter. Let's just go back out for a second. Oh, and that second button too is also a dimmer. So you might find at night time when you're driving in the country that it's a nice thing to be able to just drop the screen back to nothing. Uh, it can be quite illuminous at night time. Okay, on this left hand side here we've got 39 at the top, 42 at the bottom. Uh, that's a left hand front, uh, left hand rear, 
So if I just go in here now, press my two buttons down for three seconds, exchange wheel location, go enter. I'll um, scroll to the number one position, select that. I'll now scroll to number three position, select that. And now I've just made that change. I've actually rotated those tyres. So when I've gone to the tyre store, um, they've actually got out there, taken the tyre, the wheels off. And as you'll see in a second, here we go, they've both come at the same time. 42 is now on the top line, 39 is now on the bottom line. So as you can see, it's a very quick and very easy process. And it's just really a matter of managing that as you go through your life cycle with this product in the car. I'll just go back in that second menu now and we'll show you a couple other areas. I did mention before that we can do up to 14 locations. As you can see, this particular receiver was set up for nine positions. Each one of those asterisks is the actual position that shows on our main screen. So let's just say I went out and bought myself a tandem axle caravan and now wanted to monitor a tandem axle van. I can go in now and select number four and number five. And when I go back to that main screen again, I'll have now uh, 11 positions showing on the screen. Of course, we also need to go back in and re-ID code those positions. So I'll now take you into the area where we do that. Scrolling up one position, new ID input. What we're dealing with is our alphanumeric code. That code appears on the transmitter and it's just a simple matter of going through and making the relevant changes. And at each individual digit, you need to um, go through and press the enter button until you actually change all of the IDs until you get to the end where it says OK press OK again and the job's done. Of course when we supply a kit to you we supply a program sheet and it's very important that that sheet is positioned or the, the transmitters are positioned accordingly to the sheet um, and that makes that whole process easier when you step in the car and turn the system on. Two other areas is that you can actually set your pressure units for this system, PSI, bar or kilopascals, whatever you prefer to use. And if you really want to get excited, you can also do your temperature as well. So you can have Celsius or Fahrenheit.